The owners of Recess Coffee are really close to opening a new place very near to their first coffee shop in Syracuse's Westcott neighborhood. News Channel R's Jeff Kulikowski says as close as they are physically, they're miles apart on what they offer. It may not really look it right now, but after over a year of hard work, Cure Delicatessen and Provisions is getting very close to opening in the former Picasso Bakery home in the Westcott neighborhood. We were really excited uh, and always had been mulling around what is something that we can do totally different. Seems like they've found it. The people who've brought Syracuse Recess Coffee are about to bring us something very new by expanding in a different kind of way with Cure. The deli case will be in this space, oh, front okay. and center, gotcha. so that's the first thing you'll yep. see. Um, You'll walk back. This is where you'll order. We'll have a couple oh. beer taps, oh, okay. um, a couple bottles of wine, all the prep space, um, and you know, food service will happen here. The slicing will happen against that wall. Plenty of work you can see that's going on to get this place opening day ready, but there's also work you can't see, but is equally as important, like getting a city code update to allow people to buy food at Cure and eat it here too. We want this to be a place in the neighborhood where people come and can sit down and have a great um, sandwich or share a cheese plate together. Once we took yeah. down those walls, we were... Martini really says Cure will really be three things in one. Deli, yeah, so, um, a little retail market, and a make and take component for eating later. Part of our push here is, is uh, about building relationships and building community. It's the Westcott way. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Martini says they'll try to keep Cure focused on regionally sourced items, but may have to go out for some things in an effort to bring items here that are not in the community right now. As far as an opening date, she says keep an eye on their social media in the next couple of weeks. We will, and we'll let you know when their first day will be there.